We all know Superman is basically viewed as a god, right, in his own universe. He's viewed by most people as a divine being with otherworldly powers who can do no wrong. If he lived in our world, you know what 100% people would start cults and religions around him. Even if he told them no, there would be churches in his name. He would be sculpted and painted in the same light as all the major religions in the world. Pray to at night when all hope is lost, hoping one day he might come and save the day. Well in the DC universe, this happened once and it didn't go well for everyone involved, regular citizens and Big Blue. This is the Church of Superman. Metropolis is a shining example of what mankind can achieve. Skyscrapers as far as the eye can see, atop of one of those skyscrapers stands a man with weak knees and a brow drenched in sweat ready to give his life for his one true God. Down below, that so-called God is fighting one of his notorious rogues, Metallo, and Metallo's beating his ass with that shiny green rock. But like a God, the man dressed in those blue and red pajamas picks himself up and floats like an angel. He finds a solution to the Metallo problem almost immediately. A giant wrecking ball mixed with a large concrete cylinder and if you combine that with the wind speed of a typhoon you get the world's strongest blow dart crushing the would-be villain two men made of steel but when one torn up the heat one buckled under the flames and the other basked in the sunlight but he notices something out of the corner of his eye it's a man and he just leaped from the top of a building and he looks to be smiling weirdly of course Superman saves him and tells him not to waste his second chance. But little does he know what he has just started. He goes home and he tells everyone online about it. Then the next day he does it again, but this time off a bridge. And Soup swoops in and grabs him once more. It's getting out of hand now. Later a counsellor is sent to the young man's home to offer some advice to his parents to try and stop this nonsense but they do the opposite. They're actually encouraging him and they're actually a bit jealous to be honest because Superman saved him and not them. Superman shows up and tries to reason with them and says he's just a normal man and they respond by saying yeah, Superman. Superman tells them that he won't be following them around his whole life but he's done. He got his saves. It's their turn now. Their whole family's turn. Their whole congregation's turn. The whole congregation of the Church of Superman. All around Metropolis, people climb to the rooftops, ready to meet their one God. One way or the other, 900 people want to be saved all at once. Meanwhile, in an apartment close by, a couple is frantically packing away tons of money and clothes to leave the city. When a man knocks on the door looking for their so-called prophet, from the Church of Superman website. They're saying he has the wrong address, but he's certain he doesn't. And that's when a little girl comes running towards him, thinking he's Superman. They threaten to kill the man if he doesn't leave, but in an instant their gun is gone, and the man standing before them is none other than Superman himself. He figured out the mastermind behind the Church of Superman site was the young girl. It started off as a fan page, but then the girl's parents took advantage of the large following charging members fees and turning it into a cult. Meanwhile, outside the police are trying everything they can to persuade people to come down off the ledges, but it's no use, they're not Superman. But that's when the man himself appears and tells everyone he could try to save as many as possible, but if one person dies, he would be devastated and it would prove nothing other than you have been tricked. I am Superman, I am no god. I have failed before and will fail again. That's part of being a man. Please folks, stand down. But before he can continue, a man begins to jump, but he quickly blows him back, stopping him from falling. And in unison the crowd says, It's time. Superman can't believe it, but before they do, he's hit with a green beam of light and falls from the sky. It's Metallo, he's back. They begin to fight, trading blow for blow. 
and that's when Metallo opens up his chest, revealing the glowing green kryptonite shard, bringing Superman to his knees. He then proceeds to pummel him over and over again, everyone looking on in despair as their god crumbled before their eyes, revealing to them that he is truly just a man. They all eventually step off their ledges, back into their homes and the church becomes a thing of the past. After the mess is over, Superman picks himself up from the ground and thanks his friend for dressing up in the Metallo suit and beating him silly. He had to convince the world that he is no god and should not be held to that standard. He can be beat, but no matter what, he will never give up hope. And that's a win from his point of view. Well everyone, I'm, I hope you liked this little short story. I appreciate all the love of my videos uh, recently. I really do try my best with all these videos. I do a lot of research to try to find some interesting topics that people like yourself might like. And what I'm interested in too. So yeah, if you could do me a favor and hit subscribe, I'm almost at 10k. If you could do your best and help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, comment down below and let me know what you think. Peace.